Okay, what's your name? I'm Fernando. And how old are you? Seventeen. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start with part one. Do you come from a large or small family? Uh, well, if I had to say, I come from a. Uh, I come from a quite large family. I have two brothers. I'm sorry. Initially, I have two brothers, but uh, uh, in the last five years, my mother uh, born another. Uh, my mother had my little brother, who are currently attending grade one. Okay, and are friends important to you? Why or why not? I'm sorry, did you mean are friends important to me? Mm -hmm. Are friends important to you? Why or why not? Well, I suppose that in a way they are. Um, I don't have a lot of camp contacts with my old friends back in my high school years or even my secondary year, not to even mention my uh, primary school, which was quite terrible, to be honest. But I suppose that uh, with those fond memories that I remember about, about them, I uh, I really think that friends are, are necess uh, uh, a necessity that people need to have in order to communicate and to engage. Okay. And... How do you communicate with friends? Well, I mostly communicate with them through social media or other things like um, uh, so, um, streaming platform like YouTube. Uh, we would sometimes stream some games on there and then they would, uh, we would uh, play some matches. Uh, but um, most of the time, we would just uh, contact with each other via direct message on Facebook or in, uh, Instagram. Okay. And what makes someone a special friend? I'm sorry? What makes someone a special friend? Uh, well, my criteria for being a person, uh, for being a a uh, special friend is quite, uh, I'm quite basic, I suppose. Um, I haven't had a lot of friends to talk about this for quite a while, but I suppose that they would need to be empathy, uh, be able to understand the situation and diffuse uh, the difficult uh, relationship that I may or may not have with each other. Uh, and then we would ha also have something like a common, uh, a common agreement towards a goal so that we know, but, uh, both of us know that we will uh, not uh, argue about that anymore or having a great friendship is uh, better than my thoughts. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go on to part two. Okay. Okay, I will share and then you will get one minute to make notes and speak for two minutes. Okay. Okay, can you see? Yes, I can. Okay, you have one minute. Okay, one minute's up. Okay. You can begin. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to go on the matter. Uh, what 
uh, where that museum or uh, that exhibition was, uh, I suppose um, my choice is going to be in the Nyabazam Museum that is located um, near Hmong Town. Um, uh, now on the subject of uh, who I went with, the thing that needs to be highlighted here is that uh, back then I wasn't really interested in history at all or um, my preferred subject was uh, uh, technology. So I didn't have much attention to the subject itself. But nonetheless, I have been with my friends and my teachers to the Ngabazong Museum to visit their, uh, I'm sorry, uh, it was like, uh, it was a sort of a historic building that uh, resembles uh, part of the Hamon town's history. Um, this is quite important for our, uh, this was quite important for our history uh, presentation that we are, were going to do. So our teachers were, uh, has, had scheduled us to uh, visit that. Uh, now, uh, moving on to the next part of what I saw there, um, I would like to mention that I have so, uh, uh, well, uh, historic evidence of how uh, Hopmoon Town evolved, as well as the uh, the beautiful garden that they have that res uh, that represents Hopmoon's historic uh, and monumental uh, uh, monumental uh, and. Uh, as a final point, if time permits, I'd like to explain why I enjoyed this visiting this museum. And I should say that I am very glad that I have been there because it, it has given me a whole new uh, view on my hometown as well as how I could uh, make it a better, a better place for um, uh, my family and I live in. Okay. Okay. Very good. Let's go to part three. Okay. Mm. How do you think most children feel about visiting a museum? Um. Well, I suppose that with their current, uh, with their current busy life, people would have a lot of doubts when they um. People will have a lot of doubts when they are mentioning about museum. I suppose that this is due to the fact that um, uh, uh, in the past time, uh, history, his, history was not taught clearly for people uh, in uh, higher education or in high school, and they may have ignored that part. But uh, recent, but uh, it has been proven to be crucial to our development. So um, museum is a part of the curriculum that needs to be renewed or is uh, sort of uh, be in more interactive, like more uh, visits to the museum or exhibits that might or that might, uh, increase uh, children's um, uh, interest as well as their uh, concern. Okay. And are museums more educational now than they were when your parents were young? Um, well, I suppose that nowadays, uh, historic education is far more better than uh, what my parents have received. Uh, uh, nowadays, uh, teach teachers are very enthusiastic about this topic, and they would often... Um, be very uh, motivating about the history of each other countries as well as our country as well. This is the type of thing that uh, needs to be encouraged and be expanded to more regions so that uh, children could have a pleasure way of learning history without the um, dry context that they would have to give in every time there's test. Okay. Um, why do many people like to wear fashionable clothes? I'm sorry? Why do many people like to wear fashionable clothes? Uh, unfashionable, unfashionable clothes, you mean? 
Why, why do people like to wear fashionable clothes? Okay. Um, well, I suppose that this is mainly to the fact that mainly to the fact that um, uh, the modern uh, lifestyle that people are giving in is require them to uh, have more fashionable clothes that suit their work, their uh, busy life of uh, going to uh, places that requires them to be more formal or sometimes uh, they got uh, free and they would need to dress appropriately and fashionable clothes is the way to go. Okay, and what factors cause adult fashions to change? I'm sorry? What factors cause adult fashions to change? Um, what action caused the adult fashion to change? Factors. Uh, well, mm. factors. Mm. Um, I suppose that the most uh, remarkable one is the uh, advancement of society itself. Um, this is uh, uh, in the past time, people usually wear um, succeed. I'm um, sorry, I mean like um, on normal uh, conventional uh, clothes to uh, co- the companies they work for, but nowadays it's more like um, um, sort of like um, being more comfortable with yourself so keep, uh, they would uh, prefer a comfortable clothes or comfortable footwear that uh, doesn't neatly present, represent the company itself for example like people doing uh, logistics or doing in IT they don't represent the company itself so they c- could have uh, wear other things that are more preferable to their choice. But uh, other people like uh, sales or marketing are the type of people that have to be uh, in contact with other businesses and with their um, customers that would require them to be more um, uh, formal or being more uh, appropriate. Okay. Okay, we finished. Okay. Thanks, Dan. Goodbye. Yes. Goodbye.